hold hands, get hot chocolate, um, and fall in love. What's up, my beautiful creative people? My name is TA, and I am a New York based photographer that focuses on portrait photography. Today, I wanted to talk to you about Valentine's Day. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm in my bag. The new year just started, and I just want to have, like, you know, a nice Valentine's Day. It's not that far away, so I'm already thinking about it. Today, I wanted to share with you 10 ideas that are quarantine friendly to do either before or on Valentine's Day. I think I'm gonna make a video for my single people out there um, of quarantine things that you could do on Valentine's Day or, or that you could do in general. So let's just get right into it. Okay, number one, if your boo thing has COVID, if you have COVID, do not go see them, okay? This is a judgment-free zone, but I think that you'll really like this one, and that is to order your boo thing, your honey slice, your home slice, some DoorDash. I think that's so cute. The way to your heart is food. The way to my heart is food, correction. Um, so go ahead and order your boo thing some DoorDash. You can, um, I think you can make like an electronic e-card. They're not that cute, but maybe you can send like a little video message with it. And yeah, that's one way to spy on your boo thing and see if they're actually home and they, if they actually have COVID. Um, <laughs> Okay, number two is take a trip to a museum. Now I mentioned this in my holiday gift guide for photographers, but I think that there's nothing cuter than going to a museum on a date. And you do have to buy uh, advanced tickets right now. I think they range from about 18 to $25, but it's a really nice way to spend your day and just have a good time and walk around, see some art, get inspired and hold hands, get hot chocolate, um, whatever. <laughs> So number three is really cute and it's to book yourself a shoot for the day. Now this might be a little shameless plug. I do notice a lot of couples that I shoot um, specifically do so because they just wanted to have a really nice activity together. And look, the photos are coming out so cute. So right now I do have a couples package that is perfect for Valentine's Day. It's 45 minutes of shooting in the best locations in New York City and you get 100 photos. Photos. That's a whole 100. Find me a photographer that will give you a whole hundred of photos um, for this price. And you can change your outfits about three to five times. We could walk around, we could chat, um, we could talk about how trash quarantine has been or great, I don't know your situation. Um, but yeah, this is such a special thing to do. I feel like you could book it either before Valentine's Day so you could have the pictures ready to post on Valentine's Day or you could book it on Valentine's Day. I left all the information in the description box below so you can really get those cute photos. You Y'all deserve it. I see you out here. You're pushing through COVID together. That's something to celebrate. That's something to take a picture of, okay? So visit that link in my description and you will see all the packages I have that might be perfect for you this Valentine's Day. Okay, number four is to go ice skating. I love ice skating. If you don't know how to ice skate, that's actually the perfect scenario for going ice skating because then y'all could just laugh about it and fall over each other and fall in love and just have a good time get some hot chocolate again get some snacks um i know bryant park is doing ice skating rockefeller center is probably expensive af but there's also i think it's called la frac center in prospect park um and that is just i don't know it sounds like a lot of fun i actually might do that Okay, number five is maybe my personal favorite other than um, like number three, because you know, book a shoot. <laughs> what number was it? Number, number five is to rent a hotel or if that's out of your price range to rent an Airbnb and have like a little staycation. Y'all could cook together, y'all could play music, play games, all that jazz. But yeah, just having like, 
I feel like it's good to get out of your house and there's no safer way to do it than booking a home just for the two of you to spend some quality time together. So number six is an indoor date night. And I think this is really cute because it's budget friendly. You could order takeout. You could have some fake candles, some real candles. Um, you could, I don't know, sprinkle some rose petals on the floor that you probably will have to clean up later. Um, you could just make it really cute and cook together and just have like a really nice and romantic time at night. Okay, number seven is for the couples that love to talk and love to get to know each other on a deeper level. And I would highly recommend buying a couple's card game. And that these card games are like, I'm gonna put the specific ones on the screen or in the description box below, but these specific card games are designed to bring you closer to the person that you're playing with. So it's a really great way to get to know each other a little bit more. I'm sure you could play with friends and families as well if you don't have a significant other during Valentine's Day, but it will just get you in your bag, you know? So yeah. Okay, so number eight is also a favorite of mine. I actually, I think I love all of these but you can make a game night, um, order some two player games on Amazon. Um, shout out to, no, we don't shout him out, but you could order some two player games on Amazon and just make it really fun. You could have drinking games, you could have prizes, um, all that jazz. And you could connect with other couples or other friends on Zoom if you wanted to include them in. I know there's an app on the phone. I think it's called House Party. And house party, I think they just have like games on the screen that you could play with a bunch of people. So that's an option for you as well. Okay, so number nine is holiday friendly. I think it's still up, but it, that is to visit the New York Botanical Gardens Winter Wonderland. I think tickets are about $30 for adults. And this is the one in the Bronx. You could also visit the one in Brooklyn, but I don't think it's as big. But I think it's a really cute date idea. You could go after the sunset, see some really beautiful lights, hold hands, uh, lean on your partner's shoulder, cuddle up because it is brick outside, but I think it is a really romantic activity to do on Valentine's Day. And you should book early because I feel like those, those tickets will get booked up soon. And because it is, you know, still within the pandemic, I think they're doing like staggered entry. So there's only limited tickets available. So hop on that. So number 10, last but not least, <coughs> It's not that big, <laughs> but it's to go to the Pier 17, the Greens. This place is absolutely beautiful. It is the best setup for outdoor dining that I've seen. Um, it's not that deep in Manhattan. It's easy to get to. You can go with a bunch of friends. You can go with your significant other and you can sit in these little cozy booths that are decorated so cutely and so romantically. And you can just have some drinks and chat and just have some good food and have a good time so I'm gonna also link that in the descri description box along with everything else that I've mentioned on this list and I hope you guys have a beautiful start to your year I hope you and your significant other whether that be yourself your friends your boo have a great time on Valentine's Day and yeah I think it's important to make time for yourself and make time for people and invest in yourself and invest in your relationships with people, especially the ones that are near and dear to your heart. And especially right now, I know we are all isolated for the most part. And I think that sometimes we don't realize the effects that that's had on us mentally. And there's just something recharging about being around people that you really care about and that you really fuck with, uh, I hate to curse, but yeah, uh, if you're feeling kind of moody or um, down or depressed, I think there is value in making a phone call. There's value in making a Zoom call, a FaceTime call. I know it seems really maybe annoying, maybe you're not looking cute for the day, but just do it. I'm telling you, you'll feel so much better. Um, and just knowing that you're not alone because you're not. And yeah, we got serious just now, but I hope you guys enjoyed the start of your new year and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Okay, I'm just testing. What should we name this? Mm -hmm. I forgot what the name was for her. 
Let's name her together. Okay. Ooh. Good vibes. New Year, good vibes. Good vibes. <laughs> good vibes. <sighs> okay. <laughs> what is this video? Um, but yeah. So, let me make sure this is focusing on me. Okay. 